Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Mimi. Today I did an everyday glam makeup look for you guys. For some, it might be a little bit too much, but this is what I'll do on the days where I'm feeling a little bit extra and I want to look a little bit more put together. If you want to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep watching. So before foundation, I always, always prime my face and I'm using my Smashbox Photo Finish Original Primer. I just focus this on my T-zone patting it into like my problem areas which was my pores on my cheeks a little bit on my forehead and then whatever's left over I'll just bring it out to the rest of the face that was me trying to be gentle it looked really rough but I swear I was gentle <laughs> I'm grabbing my NARS radiant longwear foundation in Stromboli and I'm going to apply with a brush today I like to dot it over my face before I go in to blend it out whether it's with a beauty blender or with a brush that way, it's like an even amount of product that's all over my face. And I'm grabbing a flat top kabuki brush. And I'm just going to start off by stippling. For concealer today, I'm using my Sephora Bright Future Serum in Custard. Pretty much always blend it out with a beauty blender unless I'm using like um, the NARS Soft Matte concealer or the NARS uh, Creamy Radiant Concealer where it's like a little bit of a thicker consistency especially watery ones like this then I will use a beauty blender just to avoid those brush strokes I also will bring it up onto my eyelid as well whatever's on my beauty blender for bronzer today I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks in Mocha I love this stuff I'm just gonna and grab that same foundation brush that I was using. I like to use the brush or the beauty blender that I put my foundation on with for that day to blend out the cream contour just because there's usually foundation left over on it and it just helps this contour blend out even more easily. For blush, I'm going to use MAC Gingerly and do this pretty little face right here and then just get the apples. I'll kind of like sweep it back and forth like in this little C motion that way I can really like cup the cheek and for bronzer just to set that contour in place I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil I'm just going to with the bronzer I'm gonna actually cup the blush as well just follow where I put that blush just go right around it right under it I feel like I haven't filmed for so long for you guys I was sick for a few days, so I'm kind of off it, but it feels good to come back on camera and chit chat and stuff like that. I already have like one video where I go in depth about my foundation routine, so I try not to go over and over and over with the same steps and saying the same things every single time I do a video. I kind of like to just breeze by the face routine. And for highlight today, I'm going to use my Benefit What's Up. I love this highlighter. I need to get a new one. It's done. I can't even roll it up anymore so I'm just going to grab my beauty blender I put it on the side of my beauty blender and I'll just kind of rub the highlighter in it I'll just tap this into the high points of my face it gives like a really nice um, subtle sheen to the skin really like a healthy glow and I'll get just above the arch of my eyebrow on my chin cupid's bow and right on the nose. Alright, jumping into the eyes, I'm using my Tartlet in Bloom palette today. The first shade I'm going to grab is Charmer, just the white color up top here. And I'm going to set the whole lid and highlight the brow bone with this. Next, I'm going to grab Sweetheart, this pink shade right down here. I'm just going to use this as my transition color. So placing this in the crease and upper crease area. I'm going to take Rebel right down here. Same brush and throw that just below the first transition shade. So I'm just going to grab a smaller crease brush and dip into Leader again. And I'm going to just focus this on the outer V. I don't want to go too dark on the outer V just so I can keep this look pretty light because I am going out after it and it's like one o'clock 
And I'm gonna go help my girlfriend work in her store, her restaurant she just opened up. So I do want to look professional still. So how was everybody's 2018 so far? Did you accomplish any goals? Are you like me and you feel like the year went by so quick and you really haven't done much? And you're procrastinating? <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at right now. I mean, I started this YouTube channel, which I've wanted to do for years, so that's something. And I've been trying to upload as often as possible. I just haven't uploaded in a few days because I was sick, but it feels good to be back. So I'm pretty happy with how the eyes are looking so far, just the crease and the outer V. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease, and if I want, I could just go back and darken the outer V afterwards. So I'm grabbing my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and a small concealer brush like this and I'm just going to clean up the lid. I'm going to do like a half cut crease. So once I get to the edge here, I'll use like really light flicking motions just so that it blends out. Wait, don't do that. And there was a lot of concealer on my brush, so I'm going to wipe off the excess just because it's harder to work with and it can get really messy if there's too much concealer on your brush or on your lid. So I have a good bit of concealer on my lid already and I'm just going to work with that. And you want it to be like a smooth layer of concealer so that when you put the shadows on it, it'll be like a nice smooth layer of eyeshadow. It's not like all patchy. And for my cut creases, I always start down here. Kind of fill in this lid space. And then slowly I'll work my way up. Just so that A, I don't come in with too much product up top. And B, I can kind of just, with minimal product, just kind of go over the outline of where I want it. Now that we've cut the crease, I'm going to grab a flat synthetic shader brush like this. I'm going to take a mixture of Flower Child right here and Sweetheart down here. Just dip my brush in both of them. And I'm just going to pat this over the lid. So now that lid color's on, I'm going to go back in with Rebel which was this color right here, on another flat synthetic brush. Just take it on the very tip of it, and I'm going to run this along the edge of the lid color just to clean it up. And just taking that small crease brush and running over everything so there isn't like a harsh line. And I'm going to also deepen up that outer V with leader as well. And just for the lower lash line, I'm going to keep it really light. I'm going to grab my favorite shader brush for the lower lash line. And I'm going to dip into Sweetheart right here. It's the first transition shade. And I'm just going to grab a little angled brush. And I'm going to go into Rebel right here. And push this right up against the lash line. Just in these little padding motions. Now I'm just going to touch up my brows with the Anastasia brow powder duo in ebony so I just set my face before I move on to mascara that way I don't get any transfer and while my face is still wet I'm gonna just set my brows so going in with my soap And I'm just going to load up my lashes with some mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal uh, Carbon Black Telescopic Mascara. And for my lips today, I'm just going to keep them pretty light. I'm going to go in with MAC Strip Down. Oh my god, I'm legit sweating here. Like, I can see my upper lip is just like sweaty <laughs> maybe it's all these lights and I'm like boxed in with this uh, backdrop and I'm just gonna go in with my NARS Turkish delight it's a pink gloss all right I'm gonna go put on some jeans now because I am wearing sweatpants and I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'll be right back 
All right, so I finished getting dressed, and I wanted to curl my lashes on camera for you guys so you can see what a tremendous difference this makes when you wait till after your lashes have dried from mascara to curl them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.